Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo here. Doing your love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is all Virgos. Virgo only channel. Welcome if you're new. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to get personal readings, there's a link in the description box below this video where you can purchase a 30 minute or a one hour phone call. All right, Virgo, let's take a look here and see what the love messages are for you and the person you may have been connecting with or you currently have in your mind. Um, let's take a look here. Past energy, we have the sun, the eight of cups, and the five of pentacles. Present, you have the five of cups. The Ace of Wands, <clears throat> two fives, the Five of Wands, okay? And the future, you have Justice, the Nine of Wands, hmm, okay, and Judgment. All right, let's take a look at the past love messages here. So Leo energy leo scorpio libra okay if that resonates for you take it as it comes if not don't worry so much um but let's see what the past love messages were here for you virgo past love messages finances and career okay financial issues are a factor in your love life and chemistry okay so let's take a look and see what's going on. So the past with your person, I see joyfulness. I see happiness. Could have something, maybe there was um, something to do with a child. Um, for some of you, there was an issue with a child or something to do with a child. Um, and then an element of struggle and walking away from that, okay? Your person, withdrawing. I, I definitely have to say there's three fives in this reading. So there are some struggles or challenges, financial, emotional, physical, competition, some challenges or struggles with somebody. Okay. Really strong traction to, to, to each other. Your person feels very, at least in the past, had a very strong, like it was like just a pull towards you. Okay. Um, a lot of joy and happiness, but something happened in the past here where there was retreat or financial, um, worries okay so you you and your person if there wasn't a child involved i feel like i feel like all was well in the past i feel like your person had to leave to settle some financial problems which is very strange or maybe they lost a job and they had to go and focus on work or help somebody who was struggling financially. Could have been family, um, maybe an ex. Let me see. Let's take a look at this sun card. Yeah, six of swords. Okay, that, that's a lot of movement here in the past. So, you know, it just seems like overall the connection was very positive, but there was some type of like withdrawal retreat, um, uncertainty, or a need for realignment, this person needing that or needing uh, something to do with finances and career, big played a very big factor in the connection in the past. Maybe you were connected with this person from far away and then they had to leave for work or go back to their job, maybe they had traveled to meet you and it was a very positive experience um, and then they had to leave for some. Hmm. 
<clears throat> could have been something to do with like um, some res the restrictions going on. Sometimes that five of pentacles can represent um, ill health, could be positive poverty, um, a sense of worry, worrying about finances. Okay, um, but the eight of pen eight, eight of cups is a temporary separation. I don't feel like your person's intention, whatever they were out there seeking or struggling with, I don't feel like their intention was to be gone permanently. But that Eight of Cups can represent abandonment and you may feel like this person walked away and abandoned you. Uh, but I don't feel like really that's the case. They may have withdrew their emotional energy with you or connection due to a financial problem or a career issue. Okay, yeah, the High Priestess, they might have gone silent, emotionally pulled away with withdrawal retreat. Um, the high priestess here. This has something to do with a work thing because um, that high priest card can a lot of the time represent like um, a corporation or um, like a, a structured, um, like a building, like a workplace. Um, for some, this person was like, you may not know, they might have gone to like their church or community spiritual center to seek some help um, it's a very strange message as Taurus energy and I'm picking up Virgo and I'm picking up Cancer as well um, let me pull some clarifiers on the high priest okay the knight of wands yeah they left in a flash I just heard flash Gordon <laughs> They left in a flash. They, they just kind of took off or they disappeared like in a flash and he just went quiet and didn't really tell you anything or reveal anything to you. What was going on? Wow, strength sitting here on the high priest. Well, whatever they went to do, it took a lot of courage. They may have had to go and ask somebody for help or financial help. Um, I'm just seeing like tail between the legs kind of thing happening with this person. And that's double Leo energy here. It's really interesting because, you know, I feel like your person truly has or had I feel like they still do um, this unconditional love for you and for themselves I don't know if they went to seek some um, they may have gone to get some counseling because they were struggling it could have been debt counseling in the past I just don't feel I don't feel like your person like left the relationship. I feel like they had to emotionally withdraw in order to handle some financial or earthly issues. You guys, I'm gonna pull charms. I haven't pulled charms in a while, so I'm gonna pull charms at the end of this reading, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, because I just feel like everything on their end about you and your connection was good, very positive. I just feel like they had some fears or some things they, they had to face, some struggles in their life. You know, that Six of Swords is kind of like sitting in a position of like relocating or moving or making some kind of necessary. Maybe they lived somewhere where it was very sunny and they had to move from that place. And they're just in this like struggle thing or they had to go home or they were moving to where you are, but then they just couldn't give you what you needed because there was some financial struggles or they had to travel and take care of some business. I don't know. I, you know, I mean, everybody's story is different. I just don't really feel like this person is just that it's gone. I feel like they have a lot of struggles here. Look, the five of wands in the present, and the five of cups, there's remorse and regret. They're sad about something. There's a lot of um, competition and conflict. It's not heavy, but the Ace of Wands is here. And I feel like this person still has good intention. 
in the present and is still, uh, I feel like there'll be some kind of initiation and growth even though they're having these struggles. Let's see what the love messages are. Calling in your soulmate, love yourself first, okay? I feel like your person, they, they might be reaching out and calling you. Um, I feel like this person just prays about you, prays for things to work out. They think about you. They, they imagine or they dream, like they, they do this thing where they just lay there and they just speak to the universe or somebody or God, or they just say, you know, oh, please let us let things work out between us, you know. Um, but I also feel like they're really trying to get themselves in a position where they're um, trying to like put themselves first. And I don't know why. Like love, not put themselves first over you, but learning to love themselves. Why do they have this sense of loss here? What is this sense of loss of this grief or this feeling abandoned or something? They feel, it almost feels like not worthy of love. I'm going to pull both these cards because, yeah, here's the emperor, everybody. <laughs> something to do with a father figure. Um, there might have been a, a funeral. Uh, maybe there's a father who has passed away, um, maybe in the past, or it could have been, it could have happened in the past, and it could be like a funeral that they're going to, a lot of conflict, or it's like conflicted energy with family members. Um, you know, or, or they're just grieving over um, a father figure that's passed away and trying to find peace of mind because that four of swords is like healing and recovery over the grief. Let's take a look at this five of wands. Okay, the hermit. This person's trying to stay out of the conflict, definitely. Hermit is Virgo energy. We also have Aries. They're trying to stay away from the conflict. They're isolating and trying to keep to themselves. There's a lot of conflict around them right now. What is this Ace of Wands here? Because Ace of Wands is like inspiration. Can be like physical pleasure here. The moon. Wow. Piscean energy here. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, the hangman, all this major arcana, Pisces again, double Pisces. Some of you might be connecting with a Pisces or someone on the cusp of Pisces, Aries. Um, doesn't really matter. But I just feel like this person is kind of like seeing things differently now. They're getting some kind of new perspective and it has a lot to do with how they feel deep inside kind of sometimes those aces kind of feel like a light bulb moment but it's the ace of wands is more about i know what i have to do now you know that's like that creative energy that's that's kind of like um that very focused new idea of feeling inspired okay i don't know there's something here it's it in the present it has a lot to do with a father figure or their view of themselves as being a father or as being someone who is just capable, who's got leadership ability, like, or they have to take the lead in some kind of conflict situation or be the one who's in charge of something, but they don't know really how to fill those shoes. It could be like a father's shoes or fill the shoes of the emperor the emperor you know he he doesn't demand things the emperor commands okay so he sits in a leadership position he sits in like as someone who's a strategic planner he can be counted on the emperor is the king of kings you know so he's able to be supportive tolerant um solid and grounded um someone who's intentional and is charming and courageous like a powerful leader yeah this person's got like some shoes to fill and these shoes they need to fill they've been thinking about 
how you need them to fill these shoes. And they're just kind of like, you know, look at this hangman. You see how that light is around his head there? That's like glowing around his head. Like that's that light bulb moment I feel is happening here. And it's related to the depths of their emotions because, you know, it feels like this person is like really coming to trust their intuition. Like they know what they have to do. Three of Pentacles here. Teamwork. They're definitely trying to figure out a way. It's. I'm also feeling like diplomacy. Trying to be someone who is sorting out some conflicts or problems. And, uh, you know, isolating so that they can try to figure out how to gaining new skills, they just said, gaining some new skills, but also trying to, you know, sort things out, figure out how to bring everyone to collaborate in something. But the Three of Pentacles is also marriage as well. Could you be getting married? Could they be thinking about this right now? Yes, with you, yes. Um, but I also feel like it's kind of like, It feels like processing with the with the hermit. You know, the hermit's like a processor. He's looking for answers. He's looking to be illuminated here. Um, kind of like um, seeking this personal truth, you know, about how to avoid some conflict and find a way to make something work with you. Okay. <laughs> I feel like this part is just something to do with like filling the I just heard the emperor's shoe is that a thing the emperor's oh it's the emperor's new clothes but this is more like trying to fill some shoes um let's take a look at the future make the effort and trust wow the situation is calling for you to have faith so this person is definitely trying to trust again okay in the future and I feel like um they see that this love relationship that you have had in the past or currently have is worth making the effort for a lot of major arcana so with justice here this is like seeking a win-win solution and i feel like with the nine of wands and judgment your person is kind of like going forward stepping back they have their boundaries and sorting out what they're able to reveal to you these truths Okay, um, this is like clarity. You're they're on some kind of real strange trip right here going forward. They have a lot of things that they have to work out within their soul, and it feels like it's related to <clears throat> a man in their life, a man in their life who um, they lost. Okay. Uh, male or female really just somebody who was like um they had to look up to this person okay that has could have been a primary caregiver could have been an ex um or this person who was very significant in their life let's take a look at justice here because this is bringing things into balance this this justice card okay cause and effect why is justice here? Okay, the Ten of Swords, right? Surrendering. Surrendering, doing the right thing, making things right going forward. I feel like your person is really going to try to make things right with you. Um, but they're very hesitant about opening up and revealing things to you. They're being called to do this. Um, but they're also being called to recognize their purpose. And they're taking some time <laughs> to think about how to go about doing that which is very strange i don't know you know i because i feel like their intention you know nine is a, is a cycle that's a completion accomplishment transition and understanding and i feel like this person like they want to tell you everything they want to reveal everything to you there's things that this person has kept hidden or they've held back let's see this nine of wands Okay, look, the sun. There, listen, that's twice here. Unconditional love. This is success. This is joy. They know that, yes, they have to do this. There's just a lot of hesitancy. There may be a fear of being judged. 
and it may not come directly from you it might just be them in general have that fear of being judged in some way and here's the eight of cups again okay <laughs> It just kind of feels like um, they're holding back with it, but they're going to do it. They are going to open up and talk to you. They're just taking like, um, oh, no, they just said to me, they're the biggest reveal. Here it is. The Eight of Cups, their biggest fear, they open up to you and tell you their biggest fear is they open up, tell, tell you everything, that you'll abandon them. They have an extreme fear of being judged and being left or being abandoned. That's what they're going to reveal. They haven't been wanting to reveal this to you. Wow. Mm. That just hit me so hard. It was also like a pain in my temple. That's where I felt that. And it's interesting because this is the wounded warrior. Your person... It's, that's why this card is here. The situation is safe for you to trust. They have trust issues. And I feel like they're going to open up and, and try to tell you this. And it's not easy for them to do this. Because revelation, you know. I mean, it's very healing. But they're very, they're hesitant. They know they need to talk to you. They know they need to open up and tell you things. But it's scary for them to do that. And, um. It's really, I mean, I don't know if, you know, the dynamic could very well be that the relationship you were in did not feel safe for this person and they weren't able to tell you, um, or it, they're just projecting it. You know, I don't know your personal situation here, so it could go one of two ways. Um, I don't feel like this person wants to end this relationship. I feel like... They're coming to the point where they, they're able to open up and tell you. It's taking a lot of courage and strength for them to do this. Let's take a look at the love messages. Okay. I was careless with you. Okay. Try something you've never done before. This person is like, this is big for them. This is new for them to come forward and to tell you, uh, you know, remember I was saying in the beginning, I was feeling like the tail between my legs kind of thing. I feel like this is like really hard to admit that for this person to come and open up and say, I'm afraid you're going to leave me if, if I reveal everything about you because maybe people don't understand me or people always leave because or somebody very important to me left in the past and they abandoned me or, you know, it could have been the loss of a parent or someone close that had a devastating effect on them, you know. Um, okay. They're throwing me cards here. I wish you would come back. Oh, I lost myself for a little while, but I want to be more than friends. Wow. This person wants more. I wonder if you are happy without me. You're the best thing in my life. You know, Virgo, I mean, doesn't everybody have stuff sometimes? You know, I feel like your person struggles too. And um, compassion and understanding is really the best you can offer anyone. Um and you probably are doing that. But there are fears they have to work through. Okay, we have a snowflake. So could be something that comes forward here in the cold season. Or if you live somewhere where there's snow. I just heard that, you know, that term that's used, snowflake. This person might have been bullied or called names like that. Or maybe they called you snowflake or something. <laughs> I know there are some Virgos. My sister's a Virgo. She's a little flaky. <laughs> There's some Virgos can be very flaky. Or maybe your person was very flaky. Okay, so we have a salamander. I just heard Florida. Some kind of connection with Florida. I'm actually going to leave the comments open here because I know when you guys get the charms, sometimes you like to leave comments and, you know, say, hey, my gosh, that charm, right? Um, so, or there's a lizard or somebody has a pet lizard or lives somewhere where these lizards are, are these reptilian creatures. 
somebody has a, maybe a bearded dragon or a tattoo. Oh, okay, we have an umbrella. Oh, shelter. This is shelter energy. This person, um, they need the shelter and the care from you. If they're going to open up to you, I feel like um, they definitely need to they kind of assess the situation first to see if it's safe that's what i feel um is it safe to open up and that's why this trust card is here they they know that you're their great love and they know that that it's worth taking the steps to try to make this work but they know that they have to get the courage and strength and be positive and bring things out into the light here and but this umbrella it's this just the word just came to me shelter Give me shelter from the rain. I just heard that Give Me Shelter song from the Rolling Stones. I know some of you might not even know that song, but that's okay. Oh, look, a cherub, an angel. Oh, this is love. This is a true love connection. I mean, this is not just... Some of you are like shaking your head. You know, this, this is a true love connection to a T. From your person... I definitely feel that they feel that way about you. Like you are the, you were the best thing in their life. You still are. And they're very passionate about you. They miss you. They feel lost without you being around. Um, but you are the true love of their life, Virgo. Whether you guys are together or not, you know. But true love requires vulnerability from both sides and your person with that high priestess kind of holds back being vulnerable they have a great fear and anxiety of being judged and abandoned right doesn't mean that they can't love you they do but the capability may be difficult for them to open up awakening here we go again there is an awakening happening here because that's right there that's uh the hangman energy Hangman is like, boom, getting a different perspective, a temporary pause for reflection and insight and awakening where you see things in a whole new light, embrace your own uniqueness, charitable actions. You might be also understanding something right now about your person, Virgo, that maybe you did not understand before. You, you very well could be having this awakening yourself. It could be a spiritual awakening, you know? And, and both of you kind of like reflecting, like maybe it wasn't what I thought, right? So I know some people um, thought their partner was a narcissist and maybe your person had autism, right? And there's a fine line between those two or maybe your partner was just, uh, maybe they were just very self-centered and selfish, but it, maybe you, you're thinking, oh my gosh, maybe they have really deep-seated issues and they're just very afraid to open up. Maybe that's why they withdraw or they pulled away. You know, there's a lot of things that, there's a lot of different layers that can play into things and you might be on some kind of discovery path right now about your past relationships or this relationship or what happened or like, are these things keep happening? That kind of thing. You know, seeing some patterns with things. So I hope that that, brought some insight to you in some way Virgo um, remember you don't have to be a Virgo Sun you could have Virgo placements anywhere and you could be an Aries or you know an Aquarius it really doesn't matter but hopefully um, this has given you some insight and will help you further and yeah I will see you guys tomorrow all right take care